I love the life of a journalist. It's always go, go, go. I'm going on a work trip to Italy, to the Molinelli press event. Can't be late. Milan is waiting for me. Lots of famous people to meet. It is so exciting. Adventure comes when you least expect it. And I have a feeling that this trip will be extraordinary. My luggage is stowed and I'm feeling hungry. I think I'll go to the dining car. Anna Myers, what a pleasant surprise. Oswald, I haven't seen you for ages. Are you traveling for business or pleasure? I'm going to the Molinelli Industries press event in Milan. Are you still the financial director at Molinelli? Yes, I have been with them for 35 years in August. Tomorrow is a big day for us. Our first new launch for a while. Tell me about the new car. You will have to wait until tomorrow to find out. But just between us... Yes? Aldo Molinelli will be there himself. Fantastic! I would love to get an interview with him. He's on this train, so it should be possible. I will see what I can do. Thank you. Ouch! Mr. Mallow, be careful, please. Are you okay, Anna? I'm fine. Fine. Anna, would you join me for dinner in the dining car? I would be delighted. Great! We can continue our discussion in comfort. What were we talking about? You were telling me about the new sports car. Ah, <laughs> well, I was avoiding telling you about the new car. But I can say that Aldo Molinelli was personally involved in the design. Where does he find the time? Isn't he the head of the whole company? He is. And that's why everyone is so excited. This food is very bland. Where's the salt? Waiter? I'll get you some from another table. the salt shaker. Thanks, Anna. Please pass it to me. That's better. Thanks. Some champagne? Yes, please. <laughs> Is that... Yes, that's Aldo. I would introduce you, but he has company right now. That, that's his wife, right? <laughs> no, no, that's his press secretary, the lovely Miss Tornetta. Oh. Yes. He is married, but I wouldn't call it a happy marriage. Aldo's personal life is a bit of a mess. His father is sick. He was president of the company, but he retired earlier this year. 
Aldo is his only child, but Aldo and his wife have no children. His father thinks that Aldo needs an heir to inherit the company, and, well, you get the idea. Oh, dear. How long has Miss Tornetta been working with Mr. Molinelli? For quite some time. Look at them. He looks so happy when he's with her. Hey, Aldo, does your wife know how you'll pass your time? Fabio, you're making a scene. I'm making a scene? Does your wife know about the scene that you two are making? Fabio, you are drunk. Go to bed. I'll do whatever I want. What was that all about? <coughs> that... <coughs> That was... <coughs> Hang on, I'll pour you some water. <coughs> Thanks. That was Fabio Verno. He works at Molinelli's, but he and Aldo don't get along. And his drinking doesn't help. Alcohol can bring out the worst in some people. Yes. It's late. I need to get some rest. Me too. It's a big day tomorrow. Aldo, Paola and Fabio, all three of them, are travelling in the same carriage. Will they be okay? They'll be fine. Aldo knows how to handle himself. We should go to our sleeping cars. Good night, Anna. Good night, Oswald. Ms. Myers, I have a message for you. Yes? Paola Tornetta in the second carriage wants to talk to you. She says it's urgent. Please tell her I'll be there in a minute. Hello, Miss Myers? Please come in. Thank you for coming. You wanted to see me? Yes. My name is Paula. I am in charge of public relations at Molinelli Industries, and I sent you the invitation to the press launch. Ah, is this about the interview? No. No. I... I'm scared. I'm afraid something bad is going to happen. What? Are you in danger? Not me. It's Aldo. He hasn't been himself lately. He's been saying some strange things. For example? Well, yesterday, he started to talk about what would happen with the company if he died. He had a scared look in his eyes. Well, people can have morbid thoughts from time to time. Yes, but this was different. It was like... I don't know. Like he knows he's going to die. I think you might be reading too much into this. He's probably under pressure with the launch. Yes, but he loves his work. He's usually so happy. Paula, it's me. Open up. Oh, God. It's Aldo. He can't see you. Please leave. All right. Just remember that everything is fine, okay? We'll talk tomorrow. an overreaction but she was genuinely afraid i will talk to her tomorrow but now i should get to bed it is a big day today i better not forget my camera
Where is my flash? It must be in my suitcase. Great, I found a flash. There it is. Great, I found the camera. I have my camera. I'm good to go. Good morning, Anna. Good morning, Oswald. Are you ready for the launch? I am always a little nervous at these events. We have invested a lot of money in the new car. I hope Aldo makes it a success for Molinelli Industries. Have you talked with Aldo? What about? About my interview? Oh, sorry, I forgot. Let's go find him. Oswald, today's the big day. Fingers crossed. Aldo, may I introduce? Honey, you have a camera. Oswald, can you take a photo of us? Yes, certainly. Anna, please give me your camera. Aldo. Anna, please stand together. Are we looking good? Aldo, please keep still. Ready? One, two, three, and... That's it. Great. Thanks for the photo, Miss... Myers, but call me Anna. A pleasure to meet you, Anna. Anna, this is Aldo Molinelli, the president of Molinelli Industries. Nice to meet you, Mr. Molinelli. Please, call me Aldo. Anna is writing an article about today's event. Great! Today you are going to see the fastest and most beautiful car in the world. Yes, Oswald has told me that... 110 horsepower. Aldo, I wanted to... Top speed is 102 kilometers per hour. Aldo, Anna wants to do a short interview with you. Yes, if it's convenient for you. An interview? Of course. We will have 30 minutes while the train stops for water. We can have a coffee in the station cafe, enjoy the magnificent view, and talk about whatever you want. Thank you, Aldo. I look forward to it. I must prepare for my interview. The train has stopped. Now where did I put my notepad? Great, I found a notepad. Great, now I'm ready. I need to hurry to the cafe. Aldo and Oswald must be waiting for me. Anna, over here. I've grabbed a table for us inside the cafe. Espresso, please. Oui, monsieur. Un altro. This cafe has the best coffee in Italy. Merci, monsieur. Even Il Duce doesn't get his coffee this good. Do you have today's newspapers? I'm sorry, there are no papers left inside the cafe? They must be on the tables outside? No problem, I'll get a newspaper.
found a newspaper. Have you got a newspaper? Thanks. Look, the Molinelli president is on the front page. Aldo looks very happy in that photo. Yes, he does. I wonder where he is. He should have got here by now. How long have we been waiting for him? Damn it, my watch has stopped working again. Let me have a look. My grandfather was a clockmaker. He showed me how to fix most common problems. Here it is. Thanks, Anna. It's ticking like new. My pleasure, Oswald. So, where is Aldo? He's late. That's not like him. And the train is going to leave soon. Let's go find him. His compartment is in the second carriage. What a mess. I wonder what happened. Aldo's compartment is empty. May I help you? We're looking for Mr. Molinelli. Have you seen him? Nobody has been here for the last 30 minutes or so. You said Mr. Molinelli. Is it the Aldo Molinelli? Yes, yes it is. Incredible! He is the first millionaire I have met in my entire life. On my train, one of the richest men in Italy. Incredible! If you see him, could you please tell him that we're looking for him? Of course, miss. Anna, have a good look around. Maybe Aldo left a message for us. I will. If you could distract the conductor. Leave it to me. Conductor, I didn't catch your name. Lino Pisano, sir. Listen, Lino, I have some business for you.
I found a business card. Hmm. It seems that Aldo was looking for a detective. Maybe Paolo was right. Aldo must have had something to worry about. What was that? What's going on outside? I've no idea. Let's go and find out. You can't threaten me, but it won't take anything. Sylvia. Sylvia. Sylvia, what's going on? This whore wants to steal my husband. If she doesn't stop, then there will be catastrophic consequences. Aldo loves me, and I love him, and there is nothing you can do about it. Shut up! Get out of here! If I ever see you near him, I swear to God, I will kill you! Oswald, who is that lady? That's Aldo's wife, Sylvia. She wasn't supposed to be on this train. You... you can threaten me, but it won't change anything! We love each other! Shut up! Shut up! Shut up! Ladies, please calm down! Keep out of this, Oswald! It's such a shame. Aldo and Sylvia don't have any children. Their marriage is on the rocks. I see. Aldo is fed up, so he starts an affair with his personal assistant as an escape from the breakup of his marriage. Exactly. And now Aldo wants a divorce. But Sylvia wouldn't agree to it, is that it? Yes, but that's just the start of the story. What else is going on? Remember I told you that Aldo's father is very sick? Yes. He won't last long, and Aldo is his only child, so he is the heir to the entire company. If Aldo and Sylvia get divorced before his father dies, she gets nothing. Zero. Oh, God. And we are talking about hundreds of millions here. Where is he? It's none of your business. Aldo must be in Paola's compartment. Please go and get him. Tell him Sylvia and Paola are going to kill each other. Wish me luck. Aldo, are you here? Come quickly. Sylvia and Paola are going to kill each other. Aldo, open up! This is strange. I should open the door. There is no door handle. What could have happened? I should try to find the handle in this pile of debris. the handle. I need to attach the handle to the door. Oh, it's 
broken. I must fix it. That worked. I can enter now. Oh my goodness. Aldo is dead. I need to tell the others. compartment. Oh, my word. <gasps> you witch! It was you! You killed him! <laughs> what are you talking about? He is in your compartment. She murdered him! Paula murdered Aldo! <laughs> it was you! You couldn't just let it go! It was you! 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 <laughs> Stop it! Stop it right now! I didn't kill him! It was you, you witch! Paula, Sylvia, please stop! I swear I didn't! I, I swear I... Murderer! Oswald, can you stop this fight? I'll go and get the police. Yes, be quick. Ladies, calm down. I'm off for Sokotsi. What happened? I found a dead body. A dead man. Yes, Christ. Where? On the train. He was killed. What do you mean, killed? He was murdered. Stabbed to death. Do you know the victim? Yes. It's Aldo Molinelli. What? The Aldo Molinelli? That's right. The president of Molinelli Industries. This is going to get serious. I hope we didn't touch anything. Of course not. I have experience of criminal investigations. How so? I'm Anna Myers. I'm a journalist from Zurich. I have worked on some crime stories. I see. An amateur. Just what we need. All right, listen up. Herman, seal off the station and stop the train from leaving. Nobody can enter or leave without my permission. And find Luigi. I need him. Miss Myers, take him to the body, please. 
Why are those women arguing? Wait! A fight? What's going on? Police! Stop this at once! Arrest her! She murdered Aldo! I swear I didn't! You always hated him. You... Ladies, please, stop! I'm going to investigate the crime scene and find out what happened. Nobody is allowed to leave the station. Aldo Molinelli. Stabbed with a knife. No pulse. Dead. We need to clean up his wound and examine it. I need some antiseptic, bandages, cloth. Vincent, the waiter in the cafe, might have a first aid kit. I can go to the cafe and get it. God, I hate amateurs. Find the first aid kit and make it quick. Do you have a first aid kit? Yes. It is outside at the cafe near the entrance. Thank you. Great! I found a first aid kit. Did you get the first aid kit? Okay, let's investigate. There are two stab wounds. The killer couldn't finish him in one go. The killer must have been weak. Possibly a woman? Maybe. Aldo Molinelli has been dead for about an hour. He was killed before the train arrived at the station. What's that on the floor?
found the earring. It's an earring. Let me see. Hmm. Only one earring. The murderer must have lost it in the scuffle with Aldo. Oh, really? Miss Myers, can you please stop jumping to obvious conclusions? I am in charge of this investigation. I'm sorry. I just wanted to help. If I need your help, I will ask for it. Sorry. On the platform just now, I noticed that Paula was wearing a stunning pair of earrings, but I can't recall if Sylvia had any. It might be worth checking Sylvia's compartment for clues. More amateurs. Who are you? Oh, sorry. I haven't introduced myself. I'm Oswald Bernstein. Aldo Molinelli is... was my employer. I'm ready to help in any way I can, officer. And who is this Sylvia you were talking about? His wife, officer. I see. And Sylvia and Paola were arguing on the platform. We should check Sylvia's compartment. May I help? No, Miss Myers, I already told you to go to your compartment. We do not need help from a journalist. This is a police matter. Senior Cozzi, I got here as quick as I could. Luigi, I want you to find Silvia Molinelli's compartment and search it thoroughly. Right away, Senor. The Molinelli family are very rich, very important, so leave no stone unturned. Do you hear me? Of course, Senor. An important man has been murdered in my town. I want a detailed investigation and a quick conclusion, but keep everything by the book, okay? Definitely, senor. What a grumpy old man. But I did find the body, and this is a story that I must investigate. I will see how the search of Sylvia's compartment is going. Miss, this area is sealed off. Police business. I'm Anna Myers. I found Mr. Molinelli's body. That must have been traumatic, Miss Myers. It was. And having Officer Cotzi shout at me has not helped. He can be abrupt sometimes, but he is under pressure with this murder. So don't take his insults to heart. I just want to help. That's all. And I did find an earring that might belong to the murderer. What did the earring look like? Could you help me with the search? Just don't tell Senior Cotzi I asked, okay? Sure. I'll help. It's so dark in here. Let's open the blinds. I found an earring. Luigi, look. It's the same earring. Ah, one earring was found beside the body, and the other earring was found here. It's too much for a simple coincidence, isn't it? Yes. I better report back to Signor Cozzi. I found. Luigi. 
found the other earring. You see? I know it's early to draw any conclusions, but I think the evidence clearly points to Sylvia. Mr. Bernstein, please keep your opinions to yourself. This is police business. Oh, I'm sorry, officer. Miss Myers, show me the earring. Hmm, interesting. We should also check Aldo's compartment and see if we can find anything important there. Miss Myers, the police will check, not you. We don't need journalists poking their nose in, inventing stories, and putting my investigation on the front page. Yes, but... Luigi, search Aldo Molinelli's compartment. I'll stay here and finish the report on the crime scene. Si, senor. Such a pain. Did you say something, Miss Myers? No, nothing. I must investigate this incredible story. And he was your boss, so will you help me? Yes, and I think we should search Aldo's compartment. I knew him. I might recognize something. Luigi, can we help? Senior Cozzi does not want you involved. But you did find the earring, and he does want a quick investigation. Okay, you search this corner while I check his jacket. a charm look a charm with I love you Paula engraved on it were Aldo and Paula in a relationship it seems so and he was getting ready to divorce Sylvia that must have been a huge blow to Sylvia Sylvia and Aldo's marriage was in trouble but she fought to keep him even though she never really loved him she loved the money and the status it gave her and that wasn't a secret I think we should go and talk to Sylvia. She should still be on the platform. I'm eager to hear her thoughts about this whole situation. A fight with a marriage? No, no, that's impossible. Miss Myers found the other earring in Sylvia Molinelli's compartment, so the killer must be Aldo's wife. Herman, that's enough gossip. The investigation is only starting. Stop spreading rumors. Sorry, officer. I'm just upset because his passing is a great loss to Italy. His cars are incredible. You wouldn't believe what it's like to drive in one. Aldo Molinelli never designed a single car. It was all the work of his father. What would you know? Aldo Molinelli was a great Italian. I recently read an article about Signor Molinelli and his wife, and oh, Mamma Mia, you won't believe what their house was like. Go on. One of their bathrooms is made from gold. I mean, completely. Can you imagine? Why would you need a gold bathroom? That article was just inane waffle. It's not a real story. I'm telling you what I read. Herman, that's enough of your gossip. I'm sorry. Excuse me, gentlemen. I must go. 
Have you seen Sylvia Molinelli? Officer Kotze handcuffed Sylvia and took her to the police station. Kotze is quick. Yes, he wants a fast solution to this murder. We need to tell him what we found out. Kotze is in the police station in the old town. Officer, have you arrested Sylvia? Mr. Bernstein, it's you again. Are you following me? No, but... Listen, I'm starting to get tired of your meddling in police business. Officer Kotze, I know that Sylvia is the prime suspect, but you want a thorough investigation, right? We need to question everyone. There is not enough to put Sylvia behind bars, just yet. I have uncovered a strong motive. Her earring was found at the crime scene, and she has no alibi. Now, I need to interview Sylvia, so please, go to your compartment and stay there. Am I clear? But Luigi found a clue. Luigi, your report? Yes, we... I found a love charm. Anna, give it to Senior Cozzi, please. Interesting. It is an expensive piece. A love charm for Paola. If Aldo Molinelli was having an affair, then that's further motive for Sylvia Molinelli to kill him. Yes, but it could point to a different motive, a different murderer. We still need to question all the witnesses. Oh, God, I will question all the witnesses. Am I clear? Luigi, tell everybody to stay in Porto Ceso. Nobody can leave my town. We will question everyone over the next two days. Mr. Bernstein, I want to have a word. Officer Kotze, I am sorry if you feel that I am interfering, but this is such a tragedy for the Molinelli family. You know the Molinellis very well, don't you? You have worked for them for decades. May I ask you to help me with some background information while I conduct my questioning? Of course. I'm at your service, officer. I want to know the history of the Molinelli family before I start my interview with Sylvia Molinelli. I want to apologize for Signor Cozzi. He shouldn't talk to you like that. Thanks, Luigi. Don't worry about me. I'm a journalist. I'm used to it. While Officer Cozzi is busy with Miss Molinelli, we, we could speak with Paola. Do you know where she might be? Her compartment is the crime scene, so it's locked up. She's probably in the dining car or the station cafe. Let's try to find her. Bonjour, Luigi. What a terrible morning. Yes, indeed. Vincent, have you seen Paola Dorneta? The beautiful blonde lady. She was here earlier, but I don't think she liked my menu. Let's check the dining car. Not here either. Where could she be? After everything that's happened today, she probably wants some solitude right now. Yes, she might. Maybe she just wanted to get away, and the cliff road is a beautiful walk. She might be there. Let's go and find out. Luigi. Officer Kotze is looking for you. He says it's urgent. Anna, I must go, but I will see you later. 
have you been, Ella? How is your investigation progressing? Slow progress. I'm looking for Paola. I'm worried about her. I searched with Luigi, but she's not in the dining car or the cafe. Perhaps she left the station. Luigi thinks she wanted to get away and take a walk on the cliff road. I saw the path to the cliff road on my way back from the police station. Let's go there. So, how did you get on with Kotze? Did he question Sylvia? Officer Kotze is sure that she killed Arlo. He wasn't really interested in what she had to say. To be honest, I agree with him. But it's still very hard to believe it's true. Did she explain what she was doing on the train? She wasn't supposed to be there at all. I tried to ask, but Officer Kotze interrupted me. He doesn't think it is important. He's certainly set in his ways. Paula, we've been looking for you. We were worried. I needed to get away from everyone. My father is gone. I am alone. How could she do this? Just because he wanted a divorce. What a witch. Paula, you need to be strong. What's the point? Aldo is gone. <laughs> Paula, can you tell me what happened this morning? When did you last see Aldo? <laughs> the last time I saw Aldo was around nine o'clock. He said that he had an interview with you. So I left him alone and went to the dining carriage. After the train stopped, on my way back to the compartment, I met the witch as she was leaving Aldo's compartment. She had my luggage, and when she noticed me, she started shouting. I just don't understand. What was she doing on the train? She was supposed to be in Milan. She must have found Aldo in my compartment and killed him in a jealous rage. Oh, Paul, I'm so sorry for you. And I'm sorry to have to ask you this, but what plans had you and Aldo made? We were planning to get engaged as soon as Aldo finished with his wife. He wanted to ask Sylvia for a divorce after the launch of the new car. I see. Thank you, Paula. I will do everything I can to find the murderer. It was Sylvia. She is the murderer. She is a witch. Oh my god, my ring! What happened? I dropped my ring. It was a gift from Aldo. Let me help you.
I found the ring. Have you found my ring? Yes, here it is. Oh, thank you so much, Anna. Anna, I must go back. Officer Kotze could use my help. I should go as well. I want to ask the train conductor a few questions. He might have seen something important. Be strong, Paula. Thank you for your kindness. Anna, I'm sorry to have to say this, but Officer Kotze asked me to bring you to the police station for questioning. Don't worry, Oswald. I know the procedure. But could you buy me a little time? I will. I'll just say that I haven't seen you. Is someone spying on us? Did you say something, Anna? Let's get back to the train station. I need to question the conductor before I go to Officer Kotze. I have to go. Be careful, Anna. It's that person again. Someone is spying on us. But who is he following? Me or Oswald? Anna, are you okay? You look tired. I'm all right, thank you. It has been a long day. I must find out who is following us. I have to find out who is spying on us. I have to find out who is spying on us. I have to find out who is spying on us. Here he is, heading towards the tunnel. Hey, you! Wait! Stop, or I'll call the police! Where is he? Damn, I've lost him. He might have left some clues, but it's so dark in there. is open. I might find a lamp in there. Herman, I'm looking for a lamp. Do you have one? There should be one somewhere. I'd help you find it, but I have to sort these boxes. I needed to organize them, but I can't figure out how. Let me help.
Thank you, Miss Myers. Glad to help. Now, could you loan me a lamp? Oh, yes, the lamp. Where is it? It should be somewhere here in one of these crates. Anna, I'm sorry, but I must go. Duty calls. Thank you, Herman. It's locked. I need to find something to open it. Great. I found a crowbar. Maybe this will help to open the box. I found the signal lamp. Great. Now I need to go outside and find something to light the lamp. Care for a cigarette, mademoiselle? Ah, Vincent. No thanks. But could you please lend me your lighter? Sure. Here you go. Thank you.
I found torn fabric. Hmm. What an interesting button. It looks like it's from a uniform. It must belong to a worker from the train station. No sign of the spy. He must have escaped while I searched for the lamp. I should talk to Lino. He must have seen something. Lino, there you are. Miss Miles, how may I help? Lino, did you see anybody entering or leaving Paula's compartment between 9 and 9.30 today? I was cleaning the tables in the dining car at that time, but I did see Paula and Miss Molinelli when we arrived in the station. They were arguing on a platform. I was afraid they would, would kill each other. Yes, I was there too. It was a serious argument. Anything else? No, nothing else as far as I remember. Did you see Paolo with anybody during the trip? Not that I remember, no. Though I did see Signor Verno leaving the second carriage when the train stopped. Fabio Verno? Yes. Hmm. Interesting. Thanks, Lino. Any time, Miss Myers. The plot thickens. But first, I want to hear Sylvia's story. I need to find Luigi. Anna. How is your investigation going? Luigi, I need your help. I need to talk to Sylvia. Why do you want to talk to her? Huh? I've been thinking, if Sylvia is the murderer, then it was an instant reaction. A crime of passion. That is how it looks. Yes, but last night, Paola told me that Aldo was afraid of something. Maybe she was just imagining it. That's what I thought at first, too. But then, I found a business card for a private detective in Aldo's compartment. And that got me thinking. May I see that business card? Hmm, I see. I need to talk to Sylvia. Okay, look, Senior Cozzi is not in the station right now. If we hurry, you can go to Sylvia's cell and talk to her. Great, let's go. If Senior Cozzi catches us, I'm in big trouble. Don't worry, Luigi. I'll be quick. Nobody's here. Let's go to the cells. Damn, the door is locked. The keys must be around here somewhere. Great! I found a keyring. Let's talk to Sylvia. Molinelli, I want to ask you something. 
Who the hell are you? My name is Anna Myers. I'm a journalist from Zurich. Oh, more tabloid trash. Want to write something juicy about me and Aldo? Just go away. No, no. I'm here to help you. Please, I have very little time. What do you want? Officer Kotze believes you killed your husband. I'm sure that you didn't, but I don't have enough facts to prove it. Can you tell me what you were doing this morning? I went to Aldo's compartment at about 9.30. I thought he would be there with that money-hungry whore, but it was empty. Then, as I was leaving Aldo's compartment, I saw her. I had just got so angry. Miss Molinelli, you were not supposed to be on the train. Why did you board it? I was sent a letter. A letter? Yes. It said that I must take the train to learn the truth about Aldo. Interesting. So, did anybody see you on the train yesterday? I tried to stay hidden, but I wasn't careful enough, and I think that Oswald saw me. Can I see the letter, please? I don't have it. It's in my compartment, in my jewelry box. Thank you, Miss Molinelli. I believe you, and I will solve this case. Do you really believe her? Yes. It seems like a setup, but we need evidence. We need to find this letter. But who else could have benefited from Mr. Molinelli's death? I don't know yet, but we need to find the letter. Let's have a look. The jewelry box is locked. We need a key to open it. Luigi, could you search her jacket pockets and I'll search her suitcase? I'm on it. a jewelry box key. The key works. Let's see what's inside the jewelry box. letter. Dear Sylvia, you must take the Zurich to Milan train to the Molinelli launch event. You will see with your own eyes what you have feared. Your husband is having an affair with his press secretary, Paola Tornetta. 
I hate him. He is so cruel to you, it must stop. Stay in your compartment, don't let anybody see you, and watch what happens. Sincerely, a friend. The author clearly knows Aldo. We need to show the letter to Signor Cozzi. We have more questions than answers. We need to gather more evidence. What are you thinking? I want to talk to Mr. Verno. He's a person of interest right now. Fabio Verno, the Molinelli engineer? Yes. I saw him have a drunken argument with Aldo in the dining car, and he was the last person to leave the second carriage today. He should be in his compartment. Let's question him. Mr. Verno, Porta Chase of Police, open up. He's not here. He might be in the station. Let's talk to Herman, the station master. He might have seen Verno. Lino, have you seen Paula? No, I haven't seen her since the argument on the platform. Herman, we are looking for Mr. Verno. Have you seen him? Ah, Signor Verno, yes. Uh, earlier today, he was asking about the local landmarks. He wanted to see the water's edge. He asked about the harbor. Thank you, Herman. <laughs> Anna, would you like a short tour of our beautiful town? That would be nice. Great. We'll pass through the old town on the way to the harbor. This is the heart of our town. On your left is one of our oldest buildings. It is being restored at the moment. It's lovely. On the right is our police station, but let's not go in just yet. Agreed. I would prefer to avoid Officer Cozzi. Here we are. What a magnificent view. Porto Cheso is beautiful. You must stay for a few days. You'll love it. Maybe when our investigation... Oh my, look! There's somebody on the edge of the cliff! Oh, it's Paula! Oh no, no! She... she jumped! Uh, poor Paula! She really must have loved him. Anna, two people are dead. I need your help. Great! I found a glove. Look, there's an ink stain on this glove. May I have a look? She might have written a note while wearing his gloves, before she jumped. Yes, perhaps. We should check the cliffs. The note might be there. Could you search the cliff? I'll finish up here and catch up with you later. The note might be somewhere near the bench.
found a suicide note. Anna, I got here as fast as I could. Have you found anything? Yes, I found Paula's suicide note. Let me have a look. Let's see what she wrote. My life is meaningless now. Aldo meant the world to me. I do not have any reason to keep living. So short and sad. I should have noticed the signs when I questioned her. Anna, you shouldn't blame yourself. We haven't found the killer. Another person has died. Anna, please stop. She was so young. Anna, please, you must stay strong. We need to find the killer. Yes, you are right. You look tired. You should relax here for an hour and clear your head. We will find the killer. We have to go. I need to report to Signor Cozzi. Yes. We have a killer to catch. Luigi! Where the hell have you been? I'm sorry, Signor Cozzi. I was attending to a tragic scene. Miss Tornetta. There is only one person that you are attending to, and that is Miss Myers. I told you to keep this journalist away from police business. Officer Cozzi, we were dealing with the tragic death of Miss Tornetta. And we were looking for Mr. Verno, but could not find him. Miss Myers, you lack the detective skills of a professional policeman. I'm sorry? Mr. Verno is in his compartment. I was talking with him just now, and I will question him tomorrow. Officer Cozzi, please. Stop meddling in this investigation. Go back to your compartment. Officer Cozzi! Oh, never mind. Anna, I was looking for you. Officer Cozzi told me about Paula's suicide. What a tragedy. I believe you witnessed it. You must feel terrible. Oh, Oswald, it's just so sad. You must be hungry. Come with me to the dining car. I don't feel like eating right now. No objections. Some wine and a hot dinner is what you need right now. Okay, a glass of wine might be good. What's wrong with these people? Paula's luggage is still lying in the corridor. Wait, Oswald. I want to have a look at her suitcases. Maybe we might find something interesting.
divider. It's a draftsman's tool, a divider. What could it be doing in Paola's belongings? Paola was not an engineer as far as I know. No, she wasn't. Then whose divider is it? There is only one engineer on this train, and that is... Mr. Verno. Yes, Fabio Verno. Do you think he killed Aldo? I'm not sure. But he was staying in the same carriage, so he could easily have entered Aldo's and Paola's compartments without being noticed. The main question is, where was he at the time of the murder? If he was here, then why didn't he call for help? Why didn't he call the police? I don't know. He might have been afraid, but he is suspicious. Exactly. Let's go to the dining car. We can discuss the case over a glass of wine. Wait, we should check Paula's compartment first. It's locked. Shall I call Officer Kotze? Let's not. Kotze probably ordered this door to be locked. I'll try to pick the lock. Please, don't tell Officer Kotze about this. Follow me, Oswald. Oh, Aldo's dead body is still here. Let's do a quick search. If you insist. Great! I found the knife. Have you found anything interesting, Anna? Look! The knife is engraved with the Porto Cheso coat of arms. Do you think the murderer could be from this town? But how could they get onto the train, kill Aldo and escape? Maybe. Or someone could have come to Porto Cheso earlier and stolen the knife. Then, after the murder, they left the knife at the crime scene in the hope that it would incriminate a local. Oh, that seems too complicated, doesn't it? Why bother? I don't know. Anyway, I better leave the knife at the crime scene. I don't want Kotzi to know that we were here. Will we go to the dining car? 
Yes, some food would be golden. So, what are your plans for tomorrow, Anna? I want to talk to Mr. Verno. Because you suspect he is the murderer? I'm not sure, Oswald. There are too many clues pointing at him. It bothers me, but anything is possible. Nothing would surprise me. Mr. Verno? What a surprise. Care to join us? Good evening. Yes, I wanted to talk with you. Really? I was just talking about Porto Cesso with Oswald. What a nice town. Really nice. Miss Myers, you don't fool me. I've heard what you are up to. What are you talking about? I didn't kill him. I am innocent. I just wanted to ask you some questions. I'm not going to answer your questions. Mr. Verno, calm down. I'm not the police. I've already spoken to Kochi. Calm down, for God's sake. I will not uh, calm down. Is this your drafting tool? Let me see. It's just an ordinary divider. Every draftsman uses one. All my tools are in my compartment. Can you show them to us? This is none of your business. Mr. Verno, calm down. I will not. She is trying to frame me. I'm not trying to do anything to you. I've had uh, enough of this. What's wrong with him? Never mind. I'll talk to him later. Why is he always so aggressive? What was his problem with Aldo? Fabio was the head of the company that his grandfather founded, Verno Tires. Morinelli was their largest customer, and Verno Tires needed to expand, but they could not raise a loan from the banks. So Mario Morinelli, Aldo's father, loaned them a large sum of money. So this is about money? Yes. A few years later, Molinelli lowered their order from Verno Tires, but a lower order meant that Verno couldn't repay the loan. Long story short, Molinelli acquired Verno Tires for a penny, and Mr. Verno now works for Molinelli as an ordinary engineer. Oh my! What a perfect motive to kill Aldo! The work of several generations of the Verno family was wiped out if I were in Mr. Verno's shoes, I would probably kill Aldo myself. How horrible. Yes, Mario Molinelli was a tough businessman. All right, Anna, it's late. It is going to be a long day tomorrow, so I'm off to bed. Good night, Oswald. Good night. I need to get a good night's rest. I hope we find the killer today. I better talk to Herman about the Porto Cesso knife I found yesterday. Good morning, Anna. It's an interesting case, isn't it? Good morning, Herman. What do you mean about the case? Signor Cozzi told me about your interest in Mr. Molinelli's murder. Officer Cozzi is... Don't worry, Anna. I also like to solve puzzles. And I bet Silvia Molinelli has nothing to do with this. Why do you think that? She might be snobbish, but she didn't do it, I'm telling you. Please, explain. Why do I think she's snobbish? Have you seen her? I mean, she talks to people as if they were pieces of dirt. I read her once that... They... No, no. I mean, why do you think she didn't kill Aldo? Ah, that. She couldn't handle something that complicated. To plan everything in advance, cover her tracks. She couldn't do it. Hmm. And do you know what? I think I know who might have done it. Who? The gentleman who is being questioned by Signor Cozzi. Mr. Verna? 
That's right, Mr. Verno, yes. And this is not the first time I've seen him in our town. Oh, really? When was he here? Last week. He was wandering around the station looking for someone or something. He didn't stay long. He left town in the evening. Are you sure it wasn't someone else? I have an eagle eye, Anna. I'm absolutely sure it was him. That's interesting. I'm telling you, this is a very interesting case. Herman, one more thing. Have you ever seen a knife with an engraving of the Porto Cesso coat of arms? Of course. We used them in the station cafe. They're customer made. Ask Vincent in the cafe. He can tell you more about them. Thank you, Herman. You're welcome. Good morning, Miss Myers. What can I get for you? Good morning, Vincent. Nothing right now, thanks. I just wanted to ask a question about the knives in your cafe. Our knives? What do you want to know? Herman told me that the Porto Cesso coat of arms is engraved on your knives. Is that true? Yes, our knives are custom made. Have any of them gone missing lately? No, I don't think so. Hmm. Is there any other place in the station where the knives are stored? Yes, we keep a stock of spells in the cellar. Can I have a look? No, I'm sorry. Signor Cosi locked the cellar and told me not to let anybody in. I don't want to get into trouble with Cosi. I understand. No problem. Anna! Hello, Oswald. How did Mr. Verno's questioning go? What have you found out? It seems that Fabio Verno visited Porto Cesso last week. He spent the whole day here wandering around the station. Oh, really? Herman was right. What did you say? I said, it's a very hot day today. It is indeed. Care for a beer? Beer? A pint of Costello would be nice. Wrong beer. Wrong beer. Oops, wrong tap. Wrong tap. Oops, wrong beer. Oops, wrong beer. found a beer. Here it is. Cheers. Did Mr. Verno say what he was doing in Porto Cesso? He said that he received an anonymous letter, and the sender claimed to have important information about Verno tires that would help him get his company back. The sender told Verno to come to the train station in Porto Cesso and wait near the station cellar. What did he do? He came here, but he didn't meet anybody. Where did he spend the whole day in Porto Cesso? He said he waited near the station cellar for most of the time. What a ridiculous story. Yes, it sounds fishy to me, too. So, what are Officer Cotzi's plans? He is investigating Paola's death at the moment. 
I think he is getting overwhelmed by all the deaths. Where is he now? He's in the harbour. He'll be there for quite some time. Really? If Kotze is busy in the harbour, then I can do my own investigation. I have to go, Oswald. See you later. I need to get into the cellar. Herman the station master must have a key. He might be in the lobby. Herman, I've been looking for you. Hello, Anna. What can I do for you? Could you help me to get into the station cellar? Oh, I'm sorry, Anna. Signor Cozzi has taken all the keys. You will have to talk to him. Mm. Thank you, Herman. Cozzi won't work with me. My only option is to take the cellar key myself from the police station. Damn. Officer Cozzi is at the station entrance. I need to distract him. I'll create a diversion using this barrel. Great. The coast is clear. I need to act now. I won't get another chance. I must hurry. Kotsi could return at any moment. The cellar key has to be here somewhere. A cellar key. I've got the key to the cellar door.
Wait, I found a cutlery box. This looks like a box of cutlery. I should put it down and take a closer look. Two knives are missing. Why two? One was used by the killer. Who took the other one? If I could get a look around Mr. Verno's compartment, I might find the missing information. Mr. Verno, hello? He's not here. I'll just take a quick look around. found a blackmail note. A note? You were here last week. I saw you. I will stay silent and let you enjoy your freedom if you leave 50,000 lira in the tunnel before 10 a.m. on Thursday. What? Mr. Verno being blackmailed? But who is the blackmailer? This story is getting more complicated hour by hour. The blackmailer said to leave the money in the tunnel. I should go there immediately. It's too quiet. There's nobody here.
I found a lever. It is a lever for some mechanism. This switch box is very complicated. I need to take my time in order to get it working properly. service room. I need to be cautious. Someone might be hiding inside. It seems to be empty. I should take a look around. I might find something useful. Ouch! Hot steam! I need to stop the steam leaking from the pipe. A valve might help. Great! I found a valve. That looks like blood. This looks serious. It's locked. I need to find a code to open it. found a code. I hope this code is going to work. Been 
Vincent is dead. Vincent must have been the blackmailer. He tried to blackmail the killer and the killer stabbed him. I wonder what he knew. I need to look around for clues before Kotzi gets here. This must be the other knife. Everything points to Mr. Verno. It's time to go and tell everything to the police. There's nobody here. They must be at the harbor. to be alive. Oh, thank you, Luigi. But there's something that I must tell you. Officer Cozzi, I was just about to tell Luigi that... Miss Miles, I have had enough of your meddling. You have interfered with police business. You have broken into government buildings. I... You entered the station cells and spoke with Miss Molinelli without my permission. Miss Myers, I have had enough. I am going to arrest you. But... But Vincent is dead. What? What are you talking about? He was stabbed to death. I found his body hidden in a locker in the service room. My God. I think that Mr. Verno is involved. I found a blackmail letter in his compartment and the knives... I... Uh, Slow down, please. I found that two knives were missing from the cellar. One knife was used to kill Aldo Molinelli, and the other was used to kill Vincent. And Mr. Verno visited Porto Cesso last week, so... I have had enough of your wild stories. Luigi, lock Miss Meyer in a cell until I can get to the bottom of these events. Si, senor. Anna, I'm sorry I have to lock you up, but I will try to convince Signor Cozzi to release you. I understand. Please do whatever you can, Luigi. Our town is normally very quiet. We've never had a murder here, and Signor Cozzi is under severe stress. He is overreacting. Luigi, don't worry. We just need to find the killer. We're on it. We are going to arrest Mr. Verno right now. Focus on the details, Luigi. I'm afraid that Cozzi might miss something important. Like what? Like... Never mind. Just keep an eye on the details, okay? Looks like I will be in here for a while. I'll take a look around. Handkerchief. 
Hmm. A handkerchief monogrammed with SM. It must belong to Sylvia. She must have been released already. We're fed up with your lies. You keep losing. Getting your hands over me. Stop resisting. You'll make it worse for yourself. What's going on? Is that Kotzi? You have no right. You're making a huge mistake. I told you I didn't do it. Oh, really? Everybody says that. Luigi, lock him in a cell. I am being framed. I told you everything I know. Release me immediately. I am innocent. Innocent! Ah! Mr. Vano, please calm down. Ah, oh, well, look who it is. The great detective. And she is locked up in a cell, just like a common criminal. Don't be so sarcastic. You are in a very difficult situation. What do you know? The evidence, Mr. Verno. It clearly points to you. What evidence? I didn't kill, although I have no idea who did. There is a lot of evidence against you. You were seen in Porto Cesso last week, near the station cellar. Aldo and Vincent were both stabbed with knives stolen from that very cellar. And I found a blackmail letter in your compartment. Your situation is very difficult, Mr. Verno. You should tell me everything you know. Mr. Verno? Hmm. I need to find a way to get his attention. found a pry bar. I could use this pry bar to make a hole in the wall. Let's see if I can make a hole in the wall.
Great. Now I can talk to him. Mr. Verno, are you all right? No, I'm not all right, okay? Just tell me what you know. I don't know anything. Somebody wants to frame me. That's all I know. Maybe. What do you mean, maybe? Listen, if I really did kill Aldo, do you think I would be stupid enough to leave that much evidence? But how can you explain what you were doing in town last week? I received an anonymous letter. I was told to come here last week. The writer offered to help me regain control of the Verno Tires company. And what happened when you got here? Nothing. The letter writer never showed up. I spent the whole damn day in Porto Cheso and nothing happened. What about the blackmail letter? What about Vincent? What? I don't know what you are talking about. And I don't know any Vincent. Hmm. Please explain what you were doing in Paula's compartment yesterday. I was looking for Aldo. I wanted to talk to him. I went to his compartment, but he wasn't there. So I went to Paolo's and found Aldo there. Dead. He was already dead. I had nothing to do with it. And did you touch anything? I admit that I searched for the deeds to the Verno Tires company. That was stupid, okay? But I didn't kill him. Did you find the deeds? No. Did you see anybody else near Paola's compartment at that time? No, just the train conductor. I see. This is so wrong. I am an innocent man. Anna, you're free to go. But Costi wants to speak with you before you leave. Thank you, Luigi. I hope you have learned an important lesson, Miss Myers. I make no apologies for locking you up. You were a huge distraction to this investigation. We would have found the clues ourselves anyway. Yes, Officer Kotze, the clues are important. But where do your clues point? What is your conclusion? We have the killer in custody. Mr. Verno will be behind bars for a very long time. Everybody else will be allowed to leave tomorrow morning. Are you sure Verno is the killer? He categorically denies it. Miss Myers, everything points to him. You told me that yourself. Yes, but... Miss Myers, please don't do anything stupid. I really don't want to have to arrest you again. Fabio Verno is the killer. Case closed. You can go and relax until the train departs tomorrow. Luigi, you are responsible for Miss Myers until she leaves town. Keep her out of trouble, okay? Si, senor. Arrivederci, Miss Myers. Luigi, I want to ask you something. Yes. I know how this will sound, but... But what? I'm starting to have doubts. I don't think that Verna was capable of murder. But... but you suspected him yourself. I know I did. But something doesn't add up. Like what? There are too many clues that implicate him. Too many obvious mistakes. It's too careless. It doesn't look realistic to me. He is a drinker. He could have been drunk and sloppy at the time. And he was here last week. Exactly. He was here last week, and he didn't even try to hide. Everybody saw him. If it was a clever plot, then he failed miserably. I'm not convinced. Okay, then tell me why he would be openly hostile to Aldo. And why did he leave a blackmail letter in his suitcase? I don't know. It doesn't make sense. I'm afraid he is being framed, just like he said. And the real killer is still out there. But, Signor Cozzi... Don't you worry about him, Luigi. We must act now. Otherwise, an innocent person will go to jail for a very long time. If Kotsi finds out, he will arrest you. That's why I need your help. You are crazy. So, will you help me? I... we shouldn't. Okay, where do we start? I think we should search the service room where Vincent was murdered. Start the search.
jacket. That's Vincent's jacket, and part of it has been ripped off. I wonder. Yesterday, when I was chasing the person who was spying on me, I found a piece of torn fabric. Somebody was spying on you. Do you know who or why? I don't know, but that's not the point. The piece of fabric I found could be from this jacket. I need to check if I'm right. Put the jacket on the table and check if the torn fabric comes from it. The torn piece of fabric is from this jacket. Just as I suspected. It is from Vincent's jacket. I don't understand. Are you saying that Vincent was spying on you? Why would he? I don't know. I tried to catch him, but he ran away. And now he is dead. So I'm afraid we will never know why. What are we going to do now? Let's go to Mr. Verno's compartment. I might have missed something important the last time I searched. I don't think you are going to find anything new. Kotsi did a thorough search already. We'll see. Great! I found the documents. Have you found anything? 
I found some documents relating to the purchase of the Verno Tires Company by Molinelli Industries. Verno must have stolen these from Aldo Molinelli. He is the killer, there is no doubt about it. But Fabio Verno told me that he didn't find any documents. All the evidence points to Verno. These documents could have easily been planted in his suitcase. Anna, you were really speculating. We need to be thorough. We should search Paola's and Aldo's compartments again. Let's start in Paola's compartment. a thread. Look! I found a thread! It looks like it's from Aldo's suit. And there are scuff marks on the floor. I think Aldo's body was dragged from the other compartment. Yes, that's what it looks like. This means that we've been looking for clues in the wrong place. We need to check Aldo's compartment.
I found a briefcase. Have you found anything interesting? A briefcase? But it is locked. There must be something important inside. Let's take a look. Luigi, you're reading my mind. I'll put it on the table. It's locked. We need something to open it with. Paola's belongings are still in the corridor. We might find something to use to open the briefcase amongst her stuff. a hairpin. Hmm. I can try to open the briefcase with this. Let's hope this hairpin will do the job. it now let's see what's inside what have you found some letters and an old photo dear Oswald never forget how much I love you mum what why would Aldo Molinelli keep a photo of Oswald's mother I wonder who the boy is we should show these photos to Mrs. Molinelli. She might know something about them. Why don't we ask Oswald directly? Why are you making everything so complicated? Let's not show these photos to Oswald. At least, not yet. I have a hunch about this photo. Let's find Mrs. Molinelli. Sylvia Molinelli is probably in her compartment. Good evening, Mrs. Molinelli. Please, call me Sylvia. I want to thank you, Anna. This young policeman told me everything about your investigation. 
I am very grateful that you believed me. I just want to find the truth. By the way, I found a handkerchief. It must be yours. Oh, I was looking for it everywhere. Thank you. Sylvia, I want to show you a photo. Please tell me if you recognize anybody in it. I will try. Do you recognize any of the people in this photo? This boy is Mario Molinelli. Definitely Mario Molinelli. He was, he is Aldo's father. Oh, my dear Aldo. Mario Molinelli? Is Mario the brother of... Luigi, please don't interrupt. I'm sorry to bring up painful memories, Sylvia, but do you know this young lady? No, I don't recognize her. But do you know what? A few months ago, during one of his heavy seizures, Mario was ranting about an older sister. I had never heard about her before, so I asked Aldo if he knew anything. To my surprise, he told me a story about Flora Molinelli, Mario's sister. Do you know anything else? Mario's father did not approve of her fiancé. She married against his will, and she ran away with her husband. Mario's father cut all ties with her. He forbade both his wife and Mario from ever contacting her again. Fascinating! Aldo told me that he once saw a photo of Mario's sister when she was young. And I think that... This is the photo Aldo was talking about. And this young lady is Mario's sister. Exactly. But this means that... It means that Oswald Bernstein is the nephew of Mario Molinelli. He is Aldo's cousin, and since Mario's only son is now dead, Oswald is the sole heir to Molinelli Industries. What? Oswald is Aldo's cousin? It can't be true. Mio Dio! This changes everything. We need to talk to Cozzi. Signor Cozzi will not take this well. I don't care. We must find the truth, for everyone's sake. Okay, okay, I get it, Miss Myers. It's a very nice theory. Quite logical, I must say, but... But? But it's just a theory. A theory based on one photo. You need to arrest Oswald. He must be the murderer. This photo doesn't prove anything. We need more evidence, or a confession, or... A confession? That is a good idea, and I know how to get his confession for you. Oswald is not stupid. He is not going to tell you anything. No, but he might accidentally say something to Sylvia. If Sylvia gets on his nerves, and she is good at that. Hmm. Officer Cotzi, please let me try it. Well, okay. But if you fail, then that's it. It will be over, and you will leave Porto Ceso immediately. I agree. Thank you, Officer Cotzi. Luigi, can I take your handcuffs? Sure, they are over there on the table. the handcuffs I got them now let's talk to Sylvia Sylvia we need your help 
It is very risky, so if you don't want to do it, then I will understand. What do you want me to do? I want you to go to Oswald Bernstein and give him this photo. You need to get on his nerves, and I mean you must really annoy him. I do have that effect on him, even when I am not trying. All right, let's do it. Sylvia, to what do I owe the pleasure? Hello, Oswald. I want to talk to you. I'm listening. Oswald, can you take a look at this photo? That is a very nice old photo, but what has it got to do with me? Do you recognize anybody in it? Sylvia, what is it that you read about? Stop it, Oswald. I know everything. Oh, dear. Are you having hysterics again? Poor Aldo. How did he ever put up with you? You think you are so clever, but I know what you are up to. And what am I up to, Sylvia? You want to inherit Molinelli Industries. You killed Aldo to inherit the company. What an imagination you have. You really are quite something. You'll get nothing. I'll see to that. Sylvia, you are starting to annoy me. If you have read Aldo's father's will, then you know that everything passes to me. Oh, really? Now you listen to me, you dumb, spoiled princess. I know Mario's will better than the back of my hand. I created it. Mario just signed it. So it is you who are getting nothing. Molinelli Industries will pass to me. I am the rightful heir. Anna, quickly give me the handcuffs. So you really did kill him. You murdered my Aldo. I waited for this opportunity for many years. I have every right to own Molinelli Industries. But due to some twisted logic, Aldo had everything and I had nothing. Even though the corporation was founded by our grandfather. For his whole life, Aldo has lived in palaces, enjoying the fame, the wealth, the adulation. And me? I was a nobody! Moving about with my poor parents, going without food for days on end. Simply because my mother fell for a man she truly loved. But my grandfather did not approve. Do you know what it is like to work hard for your family? Stop it! Stop it! Stop it! Of course you don't, because everything was given to you for free. I worked as an accountant for 35 years in Molinelli Industries, working and working and working. I am a Molinelli. I worked hard for my family while Aldo did nothing. And now he owns the whole company and I own nothing. It is not fair. He dishonored the family name with his affairs and looted the company coffers to pay for your shopping, your new houses, your private tennis lessons. He had to go. You monster! He dishonored the family name. You stole from the family bank. It is not fair. I am a Molinelli. He had to go. You have to go too. Stop right there. Don't move. I am a Molinelli. They had to go. Luigi, put the handcuffs on Mr. Bernstein and escort him to the police station. I am the rightful heir. What I don't understand is how Mr. Bernstein pulled off something like this. Yes, he devised so many trails that led away from him. He almost fooled us. Miss Myers, how did you figure it all out? Well, let's begin with Sylvia. The problem was that Aldo's murder heavily incriminated Sylvia. It was too often. So I started to look elsewhere. I discovered that Mr. Verno's actions weren't always rational. I was framed. I know, but at the time, you looked very suspicious. Think about it. On the first evening, you were in a drunken argument with Aldo in the dining car. You were also traveling in the same carriage as Aldo and Paola. And you had visited Porto Cesso last week. 
Then there was the blackmail letter in your luggage. I've never even seen it. Can you show me the letter, Miss Myers? Thanks. This letter is very good. A devious red herring, and it sets you up with the perfect motive to kill Aldo. Correct. But everything looked too good to be true. When we found Oswald's photos in Aldo's luggage, and Sylvia told us about Mario Molinelli's estranged sister, all the pieces of the puzzle came together. So, how did Mr. Bernstein do it? And more importantly, why? It is a complicated tale. Aldo's grandfather, the founder of what would later become Molinelli Industries, had two children, Flora and Mario. Flora was much older than Mario, so when she found a man she wanted to marry, her brother Mario was still a young child. Flora's father disliked Flora's fiancé. He was opposed to their marriage and made her life a total misery. She decided to run away. She and her fiancé, Albert Bernstein, fled to South America, where Oswald was born. They were very poor. They often went without food for days at a time. Oswald's father could not cope with stress. He left the family and the situation went from bad to worse. Oswald's mother, Flora, struggled on. She told him bedtime stories about his rich grandfather and his sports car company in Italy. She told him that someday he would return to Italy and take control of the company. He was a Molinelli. He was entitled to it. After law school, Oswald went to Europe and got a job in the company as a low-ranking accountant. Without revealing his true identity, of course. Because if there was no Aldo when Mario dies, the company would pass to Oswald as the only living descendant of his grandfather. Oswald wanted revenge so badly that he devoted his whole life to it. Oswald identified two candidates to frame, Silvia Molinelli and Fabio Verna. Both of them had plausible motives. He started with Sylvia. The affair between Aldo and Paola was well known among Molinelli executives, so Oswald decided to set up Sylvia, who was known to be jealous and suspicious. He wrote the anonymous letter telling her to board the train, but to remain invisible for as long as possible. Sylvia played her role perfectly, without knowing that Oswald was pulling the strings. Oswald chatted with Aldo until the train started to slow down. The main brakes are very loud, so he stabbed Aldo when nobody could hear him screaming. He dragged the body to Paula's compartment and threw Sylvia's stolen earring on the floor near Aldo's body. After the murder, Oswald rushed to the cafe to chat with me so that he would have the perfect alibi. But there was a problem. Vincent from the cafe had seen Oswald leaving Paula's compartment. Instead of reporting this to the police, Vincent decided to blackmail Oswald. He started following Oswald. He was the mysterious spy that I thought was following me. Oswald was wary of the threat, so he agreed to meet the blackmailer to pay him. He took the Portocesso knife from the cellar, and when he met Vincent in the tunnel, he killed him. He then put the real blackmail letter into Mr. Verno's luggage, so that Verno looked like the intended recipient. That is devious. I know. He also put the Verno tires documents into your luggage to further incriminate you. I have been uh, looking for them for so many years. Can I have a look at the documents? Thank you, Miss Myers. You're welcome, Mr. Verno. Anyway, let's move on to you, Mr. Verno. You were the plan B in case something went wrong with the Sylvia scenario. Oswald knew that Mr. Verno hated the Molinellis because of the Verno tires deal, and that Mr. Verno would do anything to get the company back. He wrote an anonymous letter to Mr. Verno, inviting him to Porto Cesso, and he offered help and information about Verno tires. The purpose of your visit to Porto Cesso was simple. He wanted people to see you here, so that fingers would be pointed at you. Oswald used the Portocesso knife to kill Aldo, further incriminating Mr. Verna. The Sylvia scenario was going according to plan. Sylvia was arrested, Officer Cotzi believed she was guilty, so the mission seemed to be accomplished. But then, as more facts were discovered, the focus of the investigation switched to Mr. Verna. The more we dug, the more the facts clearly pointed at him. 
Yes, that's true. But at that point, Oswald started to get worried about my investigation. He decided to kill me. He dropped a huge stone on me from the building in the old town, but Luigi saved me. At your service, Anna. The final blow to Oswald's plans was the photo. He didn't know that Aldo had the photo of Flora and Mario. Did Aldo know that the boy in the photo was Mario? I think so. Aldo accidentally found the photo some time ago. Oswald had left his briefcase open and the photo was visible. Aldo recognized his young father in the photo and remembered the rumors about Flora. He realized who Oswald really was and got scared. Because if he and Mario died, then Oswald was the heir to the company. He became very nervous and that was what worried Paula. She had read some of my investigative reports and decided that I would be a perfect detective. So she invited me to the launch event. She wanted to talk to me on the first evening, but we were interrupted by Aldo. By the next morning, it was too late. Poor girl. Did uh, she really kill herself? Yes, she really killed herself. She really loved Aldo. Such a tragedy. Yes. What a terrible situation. Uh, Miss Myers, I must say, I was wrong about you. I admit. I couldn't have figured this out on my own. But I'm glad the case is solved and the killer is behind bars. I would like to thank everybody for their help, especially Miss Myers. Now, excuse me. I have Oswald Bernstein to deal with. The important thing is that we caught the killer. Without you and Luigi, it would not have been possible. So, how do you feel about Porto Ceso? You know what? The Molinelli car launch has been cancelled, so I can return to Zurich later. I think I will stay in Porto Cesso for a few days' holiday. Could you show me around? I would love to. A proper tour? Of course. This way, please.